to my game up When you bring my name up They gon' say I came up They gon' say I changed up Step my game up When you bring my name up They gon' say I hope you're all doing well so last week I had a bit of a eureka moment. I thought I was thinking outside of the box, you know? I was just like looking at all the materials I have at home. And I thought I had a load of bikinis I haven't worn in a long time. And obviously you've seen it floating about in the news and stuff that people have used their bras as face masks. And I was like, well, what's the next best thing to a bra? A bikini. And so I thought, hmm. Maybe I could try and change that into a face mask. Being that it has already the built-in removable padding, it makes it easier for you to add in a filter pocket because it's made of like an elastin, like polyester. The material isn't woven tightly, so obviously it's gonna let in the particles. So I had another brain wave and I was like, well, why not add a cotton material to prevent all of those large particles from hitting your nose and mouth? I was like, okay, just gonna bang that on there. You can say that I've cheated and that I've used two bikinis. I have. One being, I didn't have any strings that I could use to attach and I didn't want to waste any more materials. I didn't go and source any other materials from X, Y and Z. In year nine, we had textiles. Didn't really think much of it until now. I made this. I'm joking. Okay, big disclaimer. I am not a dressmaker. I am not a medical professional at all. This is definitely not going to replace your N95 mask. It's not going to stop you from contracting coronavirus. So don't shoot me. Don't come at me in the comments and be like, Oh, you're trying to make a mask that is going to prevent coronavirus. I'm not. This is a little DIY. I was bored and I thought of something new. Clearly it wasn't really something new because someone's already jumped onto the bandwagon. Um, but theirs one is a little different. I've upcycled something. I'm trying to encourage upcycling. I'd love to see if you actually came across my little video because that would actually make me really happy. Please tag me on Instagram. Please at me on Instagram or maybe TikTok. Maybe even on YouTube, reference me. Just give me a little nod, you know? Because I'd love to see what you've made as well. You've probably made an even better version than I have. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Now, it's been a really long time since I've done a voiceover. I've only done it once before, I believe. And so here we go. <laughs> so here I've just taken apart the bikini triangles and I'm just showing you the materials that I'll be using today. I've taken one triangle. Now I'm just snipping off the label. You can even unpick the label if you wanted to. I wanted to be strategic in how much cotton I'd be using because I didn't want to waste any valuable material. And a little tip, with some fabrics you can snip it and then pull the fabric and it'll give you a straight cut. And then I'm just tacking the cotton to the bikini, making sure I'm leaving a gap for the padding to go back into. Now I did have a little hiccup at the start. I actually sewed past the, the opening for the padding. So be sure to leave that open. I've learned how to do back stitching, but you can obviously go and YouTube how to stitch. There's multiple different ways. What I would highly suggest is the finer the stitching is, the stronger the bond will be. Now you can see that I've left the gap for the padding. So you can trim the excess material. Here you can see that I'm making the little hook for this bikini string to go through. I've just put a pencil through to guide how much of a gap that I need to leave for me to sew through. And I've placed back in the padding as well. I'm using a safety pin to help feed through the bikini string through the ruched part of the bikini triangle. I'm taking the eyelet material from the other bikini and I'm gonna attach it to where I kind of like it. I didn't want it to be like a straight crossover. You can customize it to whatever you like. And then I definitely recommend this step as well 
to create these creases, these folds, and to pinch it. So you want to sew your pinches together to make the mask fit to your face better. Clearly, I thought I was being original, but yesterday when I read this post, or this article online, I was like, great, yeah, I've definitely come up with something there, because there's an Italian company out there making trichinis, trichini being they've added another piece to the typical bikini as the mask. I was just looking to upcycle some materials that I had already around the house, because I'm trying to retrain my mind to shop less, become more sustainable in the way that I consume products. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.